Hey guys, welcome back to Shop Talk. This is a special Shop Talk because it is our wrap up to our Tundra build. We are shipping this truck tomorrow to Expo West and we just have a few more things left to put in here, some things to refine and wrap up. So we just wanted to give you guys a quick tour of the inside before the goose gear cabinetry goes in because right now you can see it really well. Then we're gonna put the goose gear stuff in, get that all buttoned up and done. There's gonna be some refining to do, a few little things here and there that we'll probably get to later, but this is essentially the entire build right now. Well, on the driver's side of the alley cab, we have our Red Arc Red Vision screen and panel with Manager 30 all nicely nestled away. Up here we have our Wabasto Smart Temp controller. We want to put it a little bit higher so it gets a more accurate temperature reading. Plus, with this hatch open, you'll be able to reach down and control it from your tent. We were kind of scratching our heads on what to do with the twin air dual air compressor. And this is our solution we came up with. I built just a very simple straight down bracket that bolts to the bed, mounts the compressor and the tank together. Just braided air line up to the chuck right there. We left plenty of slack in case we needed to run it differently. That is all tied into our dual battery system, which is our house batteries. These are 100 amp hour Battleborn self-heated lithium batteries wired in parallel. So they are 200 amp hour total. We have a 150 amp breaker. We can disconnect it and we can basically service, add or remove anything we want without any power going to the system. Coming around, we have our Wabasto Evo gasoline heater. So that is being fueled off of a fuel standpipe that's wired, it's installed directly into our main fuel tank. It'll run very, very efficiently, so we're never worried about running out of fuel or it pulling too much fuel out of our gas tank. And that, as of right now, is the inside of the bed. Next thing I wanna show you guys is I'm gonna be putting power to this whole system and we're gonna do an initial setup on our Red Vision to tell the system what kind of batteries it has, what it needs to know for charging, because we have wall plug, we have shore power charge option and solar and alternator from the battery. So that system needs to know it is charging 200 amp hours of lithium, so it knows what kind of algorithm to send to these batteries. Also, it'll give us an accurate readout of how much battery life is left in the system. So I'm gonna engage my breaker. And there's the screen. Check it out. So we have power. Well, Bosto controller is powered on. So now the first thing it's asking is confirm battery settings. Okay. Okay. So now this system is completely fresh. We still need to program it for all of the inputs that we have for side lights, bumper bar, rock lights, interior lights, USB ports, but this is this the very first initial setup. Next thing I want to do so this system can learn the batteries, I'm going to plug it into shore power. Plug that in. And it should, if we wake it up, yep. So there it's going up to 120 volts, 118 volts. So now the whole system is getting charged, it's learning. Eventually it'll show percentage here once it learns. Yeah, it's up and running. Okay, now we need to move all of our cabinetry and live in goose gear systems in. And then all this will go away. That's why I wanted to show it to you guys ahead of time. what I'm looking at in here. It's where our Wabasto heater's sitting. In Raven, our Wabasto basically was flush right here. So we're gonna have to come out the end, we're gonna put a filler plate in there. But in here, the Wabasto outtake, where the hot air comes out, is nestled back in there. So we're gonna do a uh, 90 degree elbow, and we're gonna put a adjustable vent in the side of our goose gear plate here. So I was just doing a quick mock-up to make sure that we're gonna have the clearance for it. Looks like we are. So that'll be my 
next thing in the Goose Gear install in Orion here. With the majority components of the build now complete, we just have a few final items to add before Orion is ready to head to Flagstaff for Expo West. Next up is to install the National Luna fridge, mount the full-size spare, and attach the Factor 55 winch hook. Then we will give our now fully built Tundra a quick test run to see how it handles relative to stock performance. feels amazing. Like so many of our trucks we have, even with being re-geared, you can just tell that they just have weight on them, which I mean they do, rightfully so. This thing, I mean it, driving it stock versus driving it like this, it feels very similar. Extremely happy. Hey guys, we're back from Expo. We had a great time last week seeing everybody, hanging out down there, but now we have a week before all the trucks need to be ready to ship to Europe for our Nordic series. So the Tundra's got a few more quick things we gotta throw on it and just refine our systems and it'll be ready to go. The final touches to the build are the jerry can install and the addition of extra charging ports within the Alucab cabin. Tanner installs six dual USB ports on the Goose Gear shelving unit. The addition of these extra charging ports allows Orion to become a fully independent production vehicle separate from Atikin. Tanner begins this install by wiring a breaker switch to an Anderson plug from the battery. The Anderson plug is connected to one of the chargers which is linked to the rest of them creating a seamless and clean way to disconnect power to all of the chargers when required. Nice. Now it's time for the fun part, an off-highway shakedown to fine-tune our build even more. Tomorrow, Orion, along with the rest of our chosen XO fleet, will ship out to Europe to begin the Nordic Expedition. Be sure to make plans to see Orion in action by watching our all-new 10-part Nordic series coming out in January of 2023. Meanwhile, thanks for tuning in to our 2022 Gen 3 Tundra build, and until next time, keep learning, stay inspired, and when the opportunity of adventure knocks, kick that door open. See you next time on Shop Talk.